More mass shootings across the country have prompted Congress and Colorado leaders to take action on gun control. As ABC News launches its new series, Guns in America, we continue our 360 in-depth coverage on the issue. We'll check in on the progress of discussions in Washington, also reaction from our local representatives, and we're talking to a Boulder teen who created a backpack he thinks can keep people safe. Uh, let's start with the national discussion. A group of bipartisan senators is facing a self-imposed deadline to reach a compromise on gun legislation by the end of this week. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. Crowds fleeing gunfire in Philadelphia after a mass shooting leaves three dead. In Chattanooga, 14 shot and three killed after authorities say gunmen opened fire at a nightclub. The deadly gun violence coming on the heels of the worst elementary school shooting in the past decade, where 19 children and two teachers were killed in Uvalde, Texas. One wounded teacher who lived through that horror talking exclusively with ABC's Amy Robach. The kids started um, asking out loud, uh, Mr. Reyes, what is going on? They were watching a movie when shooting started in the classroom connected to their room. And I said, I don't know what's going on. Um, but let's go ahead and get under the table, uh, get under the table and act like you're asleep. I turned around and saw him standing there. The gunman shot Reyes twice and proceeded to kill every child in his classroom that day. In Washington, growing momentum to reach a deal on gun reform. A bipartisan group of senators is under pressure to reach a compromise by the end of the week. This country cannot look away as our schools and our neighborhoods become killing fields. Sources tell ABC News negotiators are considering a proposal to change the criminal background check system to access juvenile records, which are often sealed. The other top proposals, strengthening background checks, incentives for states to enact red flag laws, and funding for school security and mental health. In order to deliver results, we have to build consensus, and the best way to do that is through targeted reform. The state of New York not waiting for Congress. Governor Kathy Hochul signing a bill into law requiring a license for semi-automatic rifles and raising the minimum age to buy or have one to 21. She says there's still more to do. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. Colorado representatives are split down party lines. Congressman Jason Crow, a Democrat, was a sponsor of a bill in the wake of the Buffalo grocery store shooting that called for an end to unlicensed gun sales online. Crow is now blasting claims that the average American needs an AR-15 for self-defense. Here's a campaign video just released Friday. This nonsense about using AR-15s for ranching or home defense is a sales pitch by the gun lobby. Don't be fooled. Ranchers don't fight armed platoons of raccoons. If you say you need an AR. Meanwhile, Republican Congressman Ken Buck released a video saying disarming Americans is not the way to reduce gun violence. It is a problem when we tell the American people that we have solutions and we don't have easy solutions for what's happening right now. We need to hold hearings. We need to examine the underlying causes. And a new ABC News Ipsos poll finds 70 percent of Americans think the country needs to prioritize gun control laws in the wake of recent mass shootings. 29 percent believe protecting the right to own guns should take precedence in the debate. The gap between the two positions has widened by nine points since March of last year when the same poll found that 66 percent of people favored gun control compared to 34 percent who preferred gun ownership rights. Mass shootings have happened in places where we're supposed to feel safe, schools, movie theaters, and grocery stores. And Denver 7's Veronica Acosta joins us live this morning because you spoke to a Boulder teen, an entrepreneur who has invented something to protect us wherever we go. This is Trent Bush who we're talking about this morning. He actually came up with the idea for this invention just days after the Boulder King Super shooting. This is a community that he actually grew up in. He went to school right around the corner from that King Supers. He told us he even used to go after school with his friends to spend some time there. And that is exactly part of the reason why he decided to create this so-called life tote. It's a bag that can actually turn into a bulletproof vest. A lot of people love that we're doing it and um and fully support us, but it always brings up the topic of how it's a sad product and the reality of living in this world now. Like, I'd rather not make bulletproof tote bags, I'd rather just make bags, but I mean, it's the world we live in today. It's sad to see. 
And take a look at this video. You see Trent demonstrating not only how this tote transforms into that bulletproof vest, but also how fast that can be done. The bag itself, it's made out of 500D ballistic nylon. It has military grade webbing and materials. It also has this special zipper that when you apply a bit of pressure to it, it separates into two halves. That's what gives you the protection across your chest and then the protection on your back as well. The toe has Kevlar plates on the insides in order to protect you too. Now Trent's partner, who also grew up in Boulder, said at first the teens had no real intention of selling these live totes, but eventually when they picked up some motion there, people started seeing them. That's when they decided to get these out to whoever wanted one. Super excited, to be honest, to see that people saw this as something that could potentially help them. And so far, the teens say they've sold more than 75 of these live totes. Pre-orders launched about a month and a half ago, and in about seven days or so, that's when anyone who wants one of these can really get their hands on it. We're live in Denver this morning. I'm Veronica Acosta. Denver Center. I mean, this is this is something people are really talking about uh, nowadays. Veronica, it's come to that. Thank you. A local security company is taking training for an active shooter situation to the virtual arena. New Wave Security uses VR headsets to create the most realistic scenarios. Two of the key five senses of hearing and seeing and submerge this person into ultimate reality. Okay, we've all seen the fancy uh, headset VR systems and stuff. Imagine that, but 10 times more advanced, all right? We can make the sky move, we can make people move, make it rain, make it storm, um, recreate almost any scenario. New Wave offers this training to police officers, their own security personnel, and even the public. In Colorado, more than 20,000 people have applied for a concealed handgun permit this year. To apply, you have to go through your county sheriff's office. You have to have a background check, get fingerprinted, and take a class from a certified instructor. Gun violence has been a scourge in our society for decades, right? And it, it only gets worse year after passing year. If we all work together as local governments and create a quilt of um, similar ordinances, then we can really make a difference. In addition to regular concealed handgun classes, 1770 Armory offers a woman-only class and private classes. They also offer memberships that include continuing training. We'll continue to follow the actions uh, being taken both at the uh, national level and local level on gun reform. Throughout the day on ABC News, the network is going in-depth on what the Biden administration can do through executive orders. They'll also be explaining why the AR-15 is such a popular weapon.